Hi, my name is Josie and I'm on top of a coffee tower, but first let's go get some three baht or 10 cent noodles. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are at a noodle place that sells bowls of noodles for three baht each. That's about 10 US cents and about eight Australian cents. So really cheap. We are just outside the moat in Chiang Mai. So let's see what the noodles taste like. Are they worth the price? Are they worth more than the price? Let's go have a look. But as always, we're in Thailand's rainy season right now and I can feel a storm coming on. So this might be fun. <laughs> let's see how this goes. So when you come in, you get the menu, there's two sets of six bowls for 18 baht. So that means three baht per bowl. They're out the back, they have almost like a conveyor belt of like workers. They've got like the noodles pouring and then someone's pouring the meats in and then someone's putting the seasonings on top and then someone's doing the shallots. It's like really cool to see actually. And then outside in here you have like a big tent and there's like just seats and seats and you've got these seasonings on the table. So I'm assuming one of them's chili. There's always chili in the Thailand. <laughs> and a couple of maybe salt or something like that. And fish oil, they're on the table so you can obviously season these dishes to your liking but you can put whatever you want in these bowls. We got the two, the both sets, so we have beef and pork. I'm not sure which one's which, they all look a little bit different to me, so let's see what they're like, shall we? I don't know if I can eat all of these myself, <laughs> but there are, that's thunder. <laughs> but there are like challenges, I saw online that people are seeing how many bowls it takes for them to eat until they're full, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just keep eating till I'm full, but Michael is here to help me. I don't think any of them come with spice. I think you add that, but some of them might be spicy. So we're about to find out. All right, I'm gonna try with these really like thin, like super fine noodles. Are they like glass noodles, angel noodles? I don't know, tell me in the comments below. What noodles are these? Let's try, give them a try. <laughs> I can't do that. The portion obviously is quite small. It's a three buck bottle of noodles. I don't know if it's that bad. I don't really mind it. There's not a lot of meat in there. There's a couple of little bits of floaties on the top and stuff. Okay, so I also got a Thai tea. Oh, that's pretty average, not gonna lie. That's not great. <laughs> I think that was only 10 baht. It reminds me of like tapas in, in like Spain, how you'll go and get like little dishes of everything and then try it. Is this like Thai tapas? Does Thailand have tapas? So a lot of you have been quite disappointed with me lately for not putting sauce and condiments and extra things on my food lately. So guess who's gonna put some on their food today? This girl. I don't actually know what they are. I know that one looks like chili and this one's some kind of like soup or something. I'm gonna try whatever this is and just... I don't know how to do it. How am I meant to do it? Oh. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what I just did. Let's try this one. Mix it around. And these are a little bit thicker noodles. These are more like a, I don't know, medium sized noodles. Not the really thick flat ones. So let's try this. Okay, so the, oh, these little balls, I don't know which one at this point is pork and which one's a beef. I'm assuming these round ones are pork and they're like minces beef, but who knows? So I'm gonna try one of these. It's like a little little bowl of pork or beef, not sure. Not my favorite thing to eat, that one. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? It reminds me of a sausage. I don't normally like sausages. Yeah. yeah, so not a fan of them, to be honest. Look at all that sauce in there. I like the flat noodles more. <laughs> So any restaurant in Thailand, you'll have those little things that you can put, like a little, the little seasoning as you can put onto your food. You know what, I'm gonna say it. I think it's because these noodles are pretty like, this whole dish is pretty like flavorless anyway. I mean, what are you gonna get for three bucks? Okay, I'm gonna try a thicker noodle one this time. I'm gonna try these. So they are all in a little bit of broth or soup or something like that and you get like a little handful of noodles, not that much, and like a sprinkle of meat. So portion size does obviously reflect the price, um, but in saying that, you get like 12 dishes or something. So 
Let's try the thicker noodle. So before I go on, before I eat any more, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me right now. That helps with my channel. It helps me with making more of these videos for you. Eating more noodles helps me out more than you know. Like the video before you leave as well. But just so you know, if you get one set, if you're to come by yourself, that's 18 baht. That's an equivalent to about 50 US cents. And I'd probably hazard a guess to say it's like 60 to 70 cents Australian. So lunch for 60 or 70 cents doesn't happen in Australia. So price is pretty good. However, they are a little bit bland. So you probably need to use those little condiments. But in saying that, a couple of bites of noodles for each bowl, not too shabby. I didn't chew them properly. There's dogs having a fight out the front. Football first. Oh, okay, <laughs> there we go. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like a sausage to me. You know what it tastes like? Like a frankfurter. Like the red skin frankfurters that you get. Like a really cheap, cheap sausage basically is what it tastes like. Okay, so I'm not really a big like noodle fan really at all or like soup and broth not really normally my thing so i think it's worth it for the visit you come and got three baht noodles it's pretty crazy to think but yeah it is pretty you know a bit bland on its own i'm gonna add should i add some chili add some fish sauce put it in i don't know how much you add in just a bit go fish sauce Keep going. Are you pulling your thing away? Yeah, because I want to show it on camera. Show it on camera. Right, okay. Enough. Mix it all around. Is this how you do it? I don't know. Maybe I should add some chili. Let's just do it. I'm going to add chili. Is this chili? No. No? no? Yes, no. Do a bit like... Oh! That one percent. Ready? Okay, that was a lot. Oops. All right, let's try this. I've got my chili in there now. Do you want Eddie over a walk? Does it change the flavor actually, though? Yeah, I, so now it feels like a burning fire <laughs> in my mouth rather than like yummy noodles. Does it make it taste better though? Not at all for you? Um, no. <laughs> Is this chili? I think that's more likely to be it, yeah. What's that? I don't know, put a little bit in. A little bit in. A little bit in. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's chili, I can smell it. Oh no. Oh, mix it around more then. You all were telling me to have more chili, so this one's for you. <laughs> Is that the camera go for what I I'm okay. You okay? No. <laughs> Little sips of that. So the, fir so the first one was more like on my tongue kind of spicy this one's burning my whole throat okay so that first one that came out of a jar that was such a quick spice like it it really like burnt my mouth but only sort of the tip of my mouth and like not for very long it kind of just went away so it like burnt for a second i was like oh that is chilly but then it kind of stopped and i think the paste one is the one that sort of lingers around for a while update my mouth's still on fire so i can't really taste any of <laughs> of these yet again, yet again but I think that's a sign that I'm getting better at spicy food I know you're all telling me to practice and practice I don't practice it every day but the fact that I haven't cried that's progression so it's in like this really cool side street like I said in somewhere in Chiang Mai but yeah look not the tastiest of meals I'm not gonna lie but again can you pass it up for three baht I think it's worth it for only three baht couple of cents I can't believe that I can't believe how affordable that is but not the tastiest so if you're looking for taste I would say go elsewhere if you're looking for something fun something cheap it's pretty good this is such a cute little beautiful green lush really beautiful little area back street whatever you want to call it this is just beautiful I've never seen anything like this Australia doesn't look like this where we live this is so cool this is one of the most beautiful things about being in Thailand everything looks so green and just really beautiful. I think we have to chuck the drone up just to get a nicer, a bigger 
a better look at this little suburb, this little, this little group, this little community, this little street. Let's have a look. So we decided to take a little drive a little bit further out down the road down the highway to this thing called the coffee tower It is a few stories tall and it's just like a big rectangular building and it's a coffee shop looks really cool It's really industrial and I see a lot of people getting Instagram photos here So it must be the place to go. Let's go have a look Let's check out the coffee and let's see what the view is like from the top I would be a waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just wanna say So we ordered some coffee downstairs I actually really wanted a coffee coffee but I saw this drink that they had and it's an espresso shot with milk and their secret like sweetened creamer thing and Milo and you all know I love Milo so I don't know if I could pass this one up I'm gonna try it it has two of my favorite things in it Milo and coffee so I think we're gonna try that and then Michael got a would you get rose soda uh, mixed berry, berry mixed berry soda as well it's like bubbling on the top it looks really cool and we're on the first story so there's I think four or five I'm not sure but we just went up to the first one and we're just sitting here with the view for a little bit and then we might head up to the top ones to see what it's like from the very top but it's really nice day today it's quite breezy and it's just really nice to be here like this is cool the view is amazing i like the view a lot you can see the mountains if you look that way you can see the road if you look that way you can see a bigger mountain over there <laughs> i didn't even see that one whoa it smells like coffee I like that a lot. Oh, that's really nice. You've got a little spoon there to scoop the Milo with too, if you'd like to. All right, let's scoop the bit of the Milo off the top. And if you know me, I don't like sweet coffee, but I think the fact that it also tastes like Milo, which I do like sweet, is really good. So we walked up these stairs down there and there's stairs just behind me inside, if you can see them over that way, that go up to the other levels. So I think we might, after we have our Milo and our drinks, we might head up a little bit higher. If I stand on this little thing. Oh, what was scary. Okay, so it goes up, ah, top, I burnt my hand. It goes up a little bit more, a few more stories up the top. So I might venture up there in a second. Okay, so now I'm going up all of these flights of stairs to the very top. This is the second floor. Now I'm going up again to the next one. Not sure how many floors there are to be honest. Oh, there's like a little cafe thing here. Okay, so I'm on sort of the tallest level I can get to. And there's a very rickety ladder over there that I'm assuming is leading us to the roof. But I'm not going on that, that's <laughs> no way. But here we are, up on the tallest level I can go to. That's, I'm pretty sure, Dosu Tap. Worth it for the view, in my opinion.
Okay, well that's the coffee tower right there. It's really tall as you can see. We we're like all the way up the top there. <laughs> But people seem to come here for the perfect Instagram shot. Um, I liked my thing, but I didn't have my coffee, so I can't comment on that. But that's it for this video. Make sure you like and subscribe before you leave. That helps my channel out so much. And if you like this one, I know you're going to love the one that's on the screen right now. So go and check that one out. A little bit of an adventure, just like this one today. Like I said, subscribe. Helps me with my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye! <laughs>